it is a collection of coming of age stories focusing on a Jamaican Canadian girl growing up in Toronto, trying to figure out where and how she fits in. Zalika Reed Benta is the author of the author behind Frying Plantain, and she joins us in studio this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. First of all, let's talk about the title. Right. Frying Plantain. And the correct way to say it, especially if you are of West Indian background, is plantain. Yes. Not plantain. <laughs> plantain. <laughs> Tell us about this girl, Kara. She is part of uh, a collection of 12 stories that you've written of here. Yeah, um, she is uh, she's second generation Canadian, born in Toronto. And um, it's basically just about, about her life and about her family and about her friends and first boyfriends and things like that and how she grows up. And um, a bulk of it takes place in uh, I went to Weston Marley area, Little Jamaica, mm -hmm. and um, you know we also go around the city, go to downtown, go to Wilson and Bathurst type of thing, and just you know her life. And you follow her from elementary all the way to university. Yes. What does Kara learn about herself, about her community, and about who she really is in that journey? I think she learns just to be okay with herself um, throughout her journey because you know there's different sort of tensions around her about what it means to be Canadian, what it means to be Jamaican, what it means to be soft what it means to be like sort of hardened and uh, I think she kind of just comes to terms with her personality and uh, and what her her sort of uh, character is throughout. Uh, there's a story in the book where Kara is hanging out with her white friends and they're asking her questions like what's a weave and someone she smokes assumes she smokes marijuana yeah. because she's Jamaican. Uh, she's dealing with racism but she's also dealing with trying to fit in and figure out what it actually means for her to be Canadian. Yes. How does she go through that process? Um, I think that, you know, when she has these questions, she's sort of trying to navigate because, you know, she's in someone else's house and she's trying to just sort of figure out how to politely say something, but she doesn't end up really saying anything. So I think it's more about contending with her own confidence and how to combat those kind of questions. And um, in terms of like being Canadian, I think she kind of just... Like I said, it's more of an individual thing, you know, you can individually define what being Canadian is, and I think she's going through that, um, and that's what she kind of goes through. I think it's a, a struggle, an identity struggle, that a lot of uh, young Canadians face, because they either are first or second generation Canadian, right. or they have, uh, in her case, a mother and a grandmother who really want her to hold on to her roots, but also want her to be a Canadian at the same time, right. and it's a, there's no guidebook for no. that. Have you ever experienced any kind of identity struggle or in writing this book, did it bring up some things for you? I mean, when I was growing up, like the worst thing around like other, other like second generation Canadians was to be considered Canadian and sort of trying to like, um, you know, pretend to be Jamaican kind of thing. So like that was something that I kind of had to deal with growing up and I kind of wanted to um, put that in, in a book because I hadn't read anything like that. Um, so that was sort of the the one thing that happened. When it's a hard up. place to find because you either face criticism from, uh, the, in her case, the Jamaican community, or you face criticism from the Canadian uh, right. community for not adapting well enough. Right. And it's a real process to eventually find and be comfortable with what your own definition of Canadian is. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, like, at least in terms of the book, I'm not sure if, like, you know, the Jamaican community would criticize. I think it's just more kind of like, but you're not Jamaican, you're Canadian. So I don't know why you're pretending to be something that you're not. Right. Because my grandma's making me plant it. <laughs> right, exactly. So All right. She feels that way. Thanks so much for coming in today. Great story. The book is called Frying Plantain. Thanks so much for no being problem. with us.